This video presentation is on the CTD 200 series car dispenser. I'm going to use a simulator, powering it up. I'm ready. I've got in here approximately 160 cards. <clears throat> the card dispenser can be set to either dispense the card and drop it or dispense the card and hold it. Typically on our 5004, 5002 card vending machines, we want to dispense the card and hold it. So when we press the button, we dispense out a card and hold it till we pull it out. So I pull out my card, it reloads the next card. It'll dispense approximately about a card per second if you want it to go one and back of the other. But in a vending application, that's not normally how they operate. You use a credit card acceptor, cell phone, uh, or bill acceptor, coin mechanism, or any combination of it to accumulate how much money you want and once you reach the event price then you can press the push button on the front of the machine and it'll dispense out a card. Just to show you the working mechanism here I'm going to take out this stack of cards show how you load the cards, by the way, same way. And in the dispenser is a little micro switch that when the dispenser is out of cards, it'll click red and obviously uh, stop the dispenser from vending any more cards. So you got a red green LED on the front of your machine to indicate whether it's sold out or ready to operate. There's a little rubber roller right here <clears throat> that's kept clean with any type of rubber cleaner. Um, the little dispenser will actually operate approximately a quarter of a million cards under normal use before you have to do any major work to it other than keeping the rollers clean. You have an exit roller here in the front and the rubber roller you just saw and then in the very front down here there are some little O-rings that are neoprene which last for years. This particular dispenser you're looking at is my demonstrator. Um, this one was manufactured, I looked at the date code on it, in 2011. We started manufacturing these car dispensers and virtually unchanged since 1994. We have sold thousands and thousands of these dispensers all over the world. It's very very popular. <clears throat> losing my voice a little bit here, sorry. Getting to some of the more of the working mechanisms here, I'm going to shut my power off and unplug it. The power. There's a connector in the back here, it's a 1 by 12 that gives you the power and the signals for empty and ready and to dispense a card. And then on the side of the dispenser are two optos that when the card is dispensed through it sees the card start and end and when to hold it. This is adjustable up and down. We have a little pull uh, knob here, the white knob. You pull it back and you can turn it. Loosen the screws on each side first then you can turn this knob to raise and lower the gate. <clears throat> so it doesn't really matter how thick your card is. It can be from 0.012 all the way up to 40 thousands uh, in thickness. So it's fully adjustable. As the years go by, the materials may wear a little bit. You might have to do a little adjustments as time goes by. There's a grounding screw right here. If you're in a high static area, you want to ground because when you're passing plastic over rubber, it builds up an electrostatic charge. So this is the grounding screw. Depending on the type of card, standard cards are, as you can see right here, this is the setting where you put it. But some cards can be longer or shorter and it's adjusted with this. Underneath the dispenser is the control board. The control board has a microprocessor controller. <clears throat> It'll operate with either 12 or 24 volts. We typically operate with 24 volts in the larger 5004 and the 5002 we operate with 12 volts. Uh, you have dip switches right here 
these dip switches are how many times you want to try a dispense before you put it out of order. And the four, number four switch right here is whether you want to dispense the card and drop it into a box or you want to dispense the card like I have it now with the switch on and I want to dispense the card and hold it. It's a 12 volt DC motor. Um, you know in our tests we've run it up to a quarter of a million dispenses um, without any major changes or anything having to be done to it other than keeping it clean. So it's very very reliable. We uh, offer a repair kit which is the uh, two rubber rollers and the neoprene o-rings for the custom customers that want to uh, do their own repair. The whole chassis can be purchased for $99 and just throw it away and take the control board and slip it into your new chassis. Um, and uh, I can't really come up with any more answers or, to, or questions, to, questions to answer for you um, other than we've got many videos on the 5002, 5004 machines but very few of the actual dispenser mechanism. So generally uh, what I'll do is send out one of the videos on one of our machines. But in this case I think what I'll do is probably send out a video with our car dispenser with one of those uh, videos on a finished operating machine. This ends our video.